how y'all doing out there it's me demarco payton i am back uh it's been a minute since i talked to y'all um you know what i'm gonna start doing is i'm gonna start doing weekly video blogs um you know i might do one you know every other day you know depending on how i feel depending on what's the news but the uh the minimum is every week so you're gonna be hearing from me something new every week so that's not as only that's a challenge for me to do something every week uh the reason being is that um i had a video camera that i used to do my uh my video blogs on and that video camera we all know the process of a video camera you know you got to go to the store you got to buy the tapes then you got to um, set the camera up and for those that ain't got no tripod try to set it on the shelf or you try to set it right there in front of you end up falling down then I finally figured out the workaround just plug in firewire and uh, record straight to the uh, computer then after I did that you know the camera had died on me so what I did was I went out and got me a, uh, finally got me an eyesight camera which you cannot see because I am recording off of. There's a funny story behind that. Um, my dad wanted to get a, uh, he wanted to have his first Mac experience. So I went out and I tried to find him a cheap Mac that he can uh, use. So I bought him, well, I found him a, um, a G4 Quicksilver. And uh, we went out to the guy house to go look at it. And this guy, you know, he said he did video production. I do video production. I work at a school. Uh, I have my uh, mini Mac. And I work, I work at excuse me, I work at a school that has um, that has a lab set up. It has three G fives, an eight core, and four um, quicksilvers. So you know, we start talking and start uh, sharing our experiences and stuff like that, our different projects we've done. And he took me upstairs and showed me his eight core set up, and he had an eyesight camera. And I asked him, like, you know, where did you get that eyesight camera? You know, I've been looking for one of those for, you know, uh, some months now, you know, so I can start doing my podcast and my uh, video blogs. And, you know, he looked at me and was like, you want it, you can have it. I don't use it no more. So I got me a, um, a new eyesight, you know, for free 99. So um, I'm very thankful, you know, very grateful for that. And uh, projects in the way. Uh, that's that I've been doing. Um, whew, I got a lot of projects. The big project is kind of a secret project that I've been uh, working on. It is a very I uh, signed on a contract to uh, Giant Media Productions. Um, I don't know you. Uh, they have a a TV show out, um, The Spotlight. I don't know you guys can catch that. You know, uh, go to Google, type in Spotlight very big in uh cincinnati so i signed on the, uh to do a uh editing deal with them i'm gonna be editing a couple stuff i can't really say what it is it's still in the works but you know it's very big uh i'm doing a radio spot my audio engineering uh put my audio engineering skills to use last time i talked to y'all i said you know i've been trying to go to the uh video editing side the more post-production side and now I'm back in the engineering game. Um, I'm doing a couple of radio spots for um, this lady, Miss Finney. Uh, she's doing a radio show, a recorded radio show. And um, I'm the lead engineer on that. Uh, speaking of radio, I was on the radio uh, this past couple weeks. Uh, I was on Wave uh, 88.3, Wave Radio. I don't know if y'all heard it. But I was on there. Um, I was talking about Project Smart and uh, nonprofit organizations and after-school programs and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, far as you know, I just had a lot of events. You know, um, oh, speaking of really big event, the National NAACP NAACP convention, the 99th convention, was here in Cincinnati, and uh, I was the lead photographer for the U.S. Army. Yes. That was me. Uh, I work with a, a bitchy lady, uh, but, you know, under a contractor. But I still got, you know, what I got out of, out of it. You know, I got the experience and I got the steals. Uh, it was a long shoot. Uh, I will be posting uh, 
I will be doing a video about that. Um, just my experience in the NAACP. Um, just, you know. But it was a long shoot. It was a five-day shoot. Uh, we started on Saturday and ended the next Friday. So it was a, a you know, seven-day shoot. It was long, but it was worth it in the end to be able to say that I was a part of that. You know, mark get marked down in history to say that, you know, I was the lead photographer for the U.S. Army in the uh, 99th Annual NAACP Convention. Uh, we have two students that we that I've taught. Um, they went on to do the Axel event. You're going to see a video on that uh, a little bit later. But a lot of projects, a lot of, lot of big, big projects. Uh, I shot the Marist Convention. Uh, know the mayor's uh, reception dinner um, you know a real real casual event you know a lot of big names in there a lot of uh, artists in there you know just me to be able to say that I was a part of that um, I did a cooking show uh, for a summer camp uh, the four foot gourmet, gourmet. Uh, I did a rough edit I'm about to go in and uh, re-edit it um, the school that I work at they had a uh, 10th anniversary. I did a video project and they had a celebration and I was the uh, the uh, production manager for that. So um, a lot of big projects I done, done, you know, in the past couple months since I talked to y'all. Uh, and it's just growing, you know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, um, I don't know if I really got into detail last time I talked, but I did change my name uh, from Worldwide to um, to Op31. Uh, Worldwide was something dear to me because when I speak of a name, I always want to have a name where it means not only something to me, but it means something that somebody can just easily catch on to. And uh, Worldwide was self-explanatory. I wanted my work to be Worldwide, but you know, 50,000 other people had that same vision too. So I'm like. You know, I'm trying to be original here, so I went back to the drawing board and uh, and I came up with um, Op 31, but it was originally 31, just 31. Uh, that stands for uh, three missions, one vision. You know, I do audio, video, and uh, photography, and uh, it was three missions, and I got one vision. But when I went to go get that copyright, copyrighted and got that branded, uh, they told me that you know I can't get just plain three one branded, you know. So uh, I had to put something either in front of it or I had to put something behind of it. So um, I don't know how anybody else run a operation or run a editing boutique, uh, but as far as where I work at, we like to run our stuff military. You know, you got your your captain, then you got your sergeants, then you got your field sergeants, and then you got your lieutenants, then you got your ground troops. You know, that's how we run our organization. So, military terms. So, I wanted to keep it kind of somewhere in there. So, I put OP 31, OP 31. OP stands for uh, optical, and optical stands for special ops. So, we is a team, a special ops team. 